In this video, I'm going to tell you the strategies you can use to clear additional math 1 and 2 exams. You can clear these subjects with minimal effort and you can use rest of the time to study other subjects. This video is for lateral entry engineering students from the batch 2015 and later. So the first strategy is learn just three modules. What three modules you should learn? Let's see that. The first one is obviously the first module. The first module has two sections, complex number and vector. In complex number, you need to learn addition, subtraction, multiplication and division of complex number. This is very basic stuff and you can learn it very easily. Next, modulus and amplitude of a complex number. This again consists of a basic formulas. The last topic in complex number is De Morris theorem. In this topic, they will only ask questions from previous year question paper. But the questions are a little trickier. No need to worry. We have made videos showing how to solve the questions on De Morris theorem. Call us right now to get this. In the vector section, you have converting points to position vector, addition and subtraction of vectors, finding magnitude of a vector and finding unit vector in the direction of given vector. Next, in the multiplication of two vectors, there are two types, dot product and cross product. Next. Multiplication of three vectors called the box product. After module 1, next you can attend module 3, integral calculus. Derivation of reduction formula. This question was asked in all the examination paper till date. If you learn it, that is 7 more marks in your pocket. Double and triple integration. They are one of the simplest topic in the syllabus if you know how to integrate basic functions. After module 3, next you can attend module 4, Vector Differentiation. All you need to know to score 20 marks in this module is little bit of differentiation. In the fourth module, they will only ask questions on finding velocity and acceleration from a given displacement vector, finding gradient of a scalar field, finding divergence and curl of a vector field, find if the vector field is solenoidal or irrotational. Now that you have a clear picture of how to get around 60 marks, we can clear Diploma Math 1 with minimal effort. At the end of this video, I'm going to tell you two more topics in which you can score at least 10 more marks easily. But before that, let me tell you about the amazing course that we have created. A very detailed step-by-step -step video course which will teach you the, all these concepts from scratch. The courses are available for both Diploma Math 1 and 2. The videos are arranged according to 2010 scheme, 2015 scheme and also for all the other ones. We also host weekly live doubt clearing session for our subscribers as additional support. The point of this video course is to help as many students as possible. That is why we have made them very affordable. Call us right now for more information or to pre-book. Now, coming back to the bonus, I promised you, it is from Module 2. Questions on Jacobians and Maclaurin series are repeated from previous year question papers and they are easy to solve. I hope this video has reduced your stress and gave you confidence to clear the exam. Please share this with your friends and help them as well. All the best.